Hey guys, what is up? Josh Short here from Edit Video Faster. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use play length in Avid Media Composer. Um, this is something that you'll want to probably enable if your media composer is running slow or sluggish. Um, there's probably you know a million different reasons why that's happening. Uh, this video isn't really to you know go through that part of it, but more so to work around it uh, if you don't have time to troubleshoot that at the moment and you just need to play your video, etc. So uh, something you'll want to do is enable play length. So what that is in Media Composer, you can set it uh, to like one, two, three minutes. Uh, and when you have play length enabled, I'll show you how to do this in a moment, when you hit play, um, it's just going to play the next minute or two minutes, three minutes, whatever uh, you set it to uh, of your sequence. Uh, so basically it caches um, a minute prior and um, ahead of your time position indicator, you know, the, the blue bar in your timeline. So um, this makes it so Media Composer isn't thinking about your entire timeline at once. Uh, it's just thinking about that minute before or after where you're at right now. Uh, so let me just show you how to enable this and how to customize it. So you want to go to your command palette, so that's command or control and the three key, or go up to tools and find command palette. And then you want to go to the play tab, make sure button to button reassignment is checked, and then take this and drag it somewhere onto your interface. I just put it over here. Um, and then we can close out of command palette. So this is giving us the ability to use that tool because by default it's hidden or tucked away. Uh, and just for your awareness, this is a media composer that's a couple years old, but uh, I'm like 99% certain everything still works exactly the same way. Um, it just might look, might be just a little slightly different in your you know, updated version of media composer if you're using something newer than this. So we have our play length icon. Um, set um, in our record monitor. And if we want to change the duration of it, um, you want to go to the console, so command or control in the six key, or go to tools and console. And then you want to type in uh, its pl uh, play length, and then space, and then apostrophe, and then one or two or three. I believe this has to be a whole number. Um, so I'm going to do play length one, and then another uh, apostrophe, sorry, apostrophe one, apostrophe, hit return, and it's setting it to the play length is a minute. I believe it's like that by default. Um, you can set it to two if you want, and now it's set to two minutes, but let's just keep it at one minute. Close out of the console, and then here over in our timeline, let's just play this so you can see what's going to happen. So right now we don't have play length turned on. We need to actually turn it on. We just put that icon there. So go ahead, click the little PL button, and you'll see now it's white. Uh, and actually, let me turn that off for a second. So when we hit play without play length, take a look at this uh, play icon right here. You see how it's green uh, with a little like blue shading here. I'm going to stop. Um, when we turn play length on and we click play, now you see it's kind of this like grayed out color. Uh, again, in a future version of Meeting Composer, this might look slightly different uh, with the coloring and whatnot. So um, this video right here, it's just playing. It's going to stop one minute later, uh, which is actually right here. So I'm just going to play uh, a little bit quicker. And then we'll see together, once we get to this point, Meeting Composer will automatically stop. There we go. So play length, um, that's going to, again, have Media Composer just think about that minute right after or right before your time position indicator. It's going to help you out if Media Composer is running slow or sluggish. Um, you know, something else to check is uh, your video quality down here. That's this little icon. You can change it. This is, you know, the highest quality. Uh, the This is a lower quality and or this is the lowest quality of the yellow, and you can cycle through these, uh, and that's gonna change the quality of the video in the monitor. That's something else to check out as well. But for play length, if you're working on an old computer, uh, like I am, this is like a 2011 iMac, um, you might wanna keep this on all the time, and there's no shame in that. Um, you know, I don't often find myself in Media Composer watching, you know, minutes and minutes and minutes of my video, usually doing that, you know, at the end, you know, I'm spitting something out, and 
you know, sitting down and actually doing a review session of the whole thing. Um, so play length could be something you want on all the time, uh, just depending on your situation. So I hope you found this helpful. Um, please uh, leave a comment if you have any questions. Give this video a thumbs up if you did find it helpful so other people can find it. And uh, yeah, hit that subscribe button so you see more videos like this one. Thank you again, and uh, I'll see you around in the next video. Bye.